Okay, let's do some Boolean algebra. So now we're going to be simplifying these Boolean expressions here. And this first one says, uh, says not a plus b, uh, rather not a and b and c, or that's what the plus symbolizes as opposed to the times. Times symbolizes and, plus symbolizes or, the over bar means not that thing. So okay, uh, not a or and b and c, or a and not c and b, or b and c, or a. Okay, here's how you'd think about that. So, oh, oh, an update. Uh, no thanks. So maybe I'll look into that later. Now, uh, a, a bar b c, or a c bar b, or b c or a. Uh, yeah. So, so here's the deal. If you've got a section of this, which is, which is b c. So let's see, a bar b c, or b c. Well. Since BC has to be true for this thing to be true, and if BC is true, then the whole thing's one anyway, it doesn't, this, this term really doesn't matter. So this is logically true whenever BC is true. And, and that's it. That's the only, that's uh, a necessary and sufficient condition for that to be true. Similarly, A C bar B or A is logically true whenever, so if and only if, a is true, which means that if we do both of these simplifications, then we can reduce this entire expression. So we'll say, therefore, this whole thing is equal to just B, C, or A. Yeah, there we go. All right, next. Okay, look at this one. This says not X or Y, uh, not X and Y, or x and not y, or x, y, or not x, not y. If you were to write at the truth table for this, you'd see that if, no, no matter what situation you have, so if x, y are 0, 0, then this is true. If x, y is 0, 1, then this is true. And similarly for the other two conditions. So there's no possible values for x and y, where one of these things isn't true. So the whole thing evaluates to just one. If you want something a little more systematic for that, then what you could do is, um, let's just start with this expression already written out there. So if we got that thing, then we can say that this is equal to, um, well, x bar, and let's factor out the x bar. So x bar and y or y bar um, or x and y bar or y all right and uh, and each of these things in brackets evaluates to one so yes y or not y is always going to be true so no matter what y is this thing is true and same same for this so that means we've got x bar or x which means that we've just got a one. Yeah, so this is always true. Similarly, this, so using the same kind of logic on this last expression, if you think about it for a minute, well, let's do some factoring here, and you'll see that this first one has an x in both terms, so we can factor that out, and this second one has an x bar in both terms, so we'll factor that out. So we end up with x and not x. Well, that's impossible. So the whole thing is equal to zero. There's no way that this expression is true. This expression will always evaluate to false. And those are the kinds of things that you uh, that you want to look out for and the sort of simplifications that you can look into when you're simplifying Boolean expressions.